What's up, Connors? Welcome back to Tsunami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In today's video, we are taking a look at the brand new Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage 12, Warriors of Universe 7. This is the six-year anniversary special where we're going to be facing all the members of Team Universe 7 in a continuous escalation event. How this event works, basically you're fighting nine opponents in a row. There's no rest in between, so the items that you bring will have to last you the entire way through and it's an escalation event, so each level gets increasingly more difficult. Here's a rundown of the units and how they look. We got the Krillin, Tien, Roshi, Piccolo, Android 18, Gohan, Royal Blue Vegeta, MVP 17, and Goku Frieza, each with their own increasing set of perks. But across the board, everybody is immune to seal. On the first turn, Krillin is able to get stunned, but after that, everybody's immune to stun. And then at stage four, you start to notice a little bit more and more and more. You're gonna be getting 32 Dragon Stones if you do all of the missions for this event. The primary focus is to complete it. So if you're able to get through, you're gonna get most of the stone rewards here. So that's obviously good because you need the stones to summon. But then if you wanna add an extra challenge, you could try beating this with at least three units of a particular category. So every single iteration of the Infinite Dragon Ball history has come with its own set of missions and own set of category requirements. So for this one, there are two missions, complete with at least three Universe 6 category characters, and then complete with at least three Universe 11 category characters. So what you're about to see is my run-through of doing this event, completing all the missions on my first try, not using a single item, which means I beat it with three Universe 6 and three Universe 11. But I'm also gonna show you guys a couple other teams that you could put together to do this. So let's jump over to the game now. This is the team that I used to defeat the event. So I ran double Tech LR Jiren. This is obviously an LR unit from the Legendary Summon, so not a lot of you may have this unit. And if you don't, that's totally fine. But I'm going to show you the run that I did on stream where I ran this exact team and I won. My main rotations were obviously centered around the Kale and Khalifla. Kale and Khalifla occupied one rotation because they stack attack and defense indefinitely. They are tailor-made for these types of events. Any unit that can stack attack and defense indefinitely are the ones you want to be bringing for these escalation events. And then I brought the LRKFC as well, a really, really good defensive unit as well as a defensive stacker. The more defense she gains, the better heal you get through her defense because the higher your defense numbers, when you pick up matching orbs, you will gain a proportionate amount in your health. So what I basically did was I had the Kaelin Khalifa Helm one rotation, and then I had the KFC on the other rotation accompanied by whoever I needed depending on the situation. So for the most part, it was usually my LR Jiren because I have max links. But then occasionally I brought in the Int Topo. He's able to guard all attacks because he's got Universe 11 allies attacking in the same turn for the most part. And then I brought one of the best supports in the entire game. He can tank damage received by 40% when HP is below 70%. So across the board, this is a very complete team. The only thing that got me nervous at certain points was the turn restriction. You do have to beat this event within 24 turns to get that mission. Now keep in mind, folks, you don't have to get all of these missions done at once. You can do them separately, but this video, you will be seeing it all done at once. That was the additional challenge that I put on myself. Behold the power of Universe 6 and Universe 11. All missions complete, first try, no items. Here we go. Nobody's where they're supposed to be. That's just great. Um, okay. I don't really want to spend too much time trying to baby these guys so that I can get all my rotations set. I'll just figure it out as I go. I don't think this is going to be too difficult, but that's why I got items, so we're fine. I'm going to rotate out Kale. I'll have the two Topos together, and I'll just move Kale out. Kale is going to gain her stats really fast in no time anyway, so if anyone is to make up for lost time, it'll be Kale. It's fine. I still don't have Int UI Goku. Um... Have you not picked him up from the six-year summons? Because he's featured. All right. Goodbye, Krillin. One out of nine. Done. Coming up next, it's Tien. I don't want to push for a Dokkan attack. I feel like I want to save the Dokkan attack for the eighth phase. Because I just realized that the Android 17 is... In, he's going to be able to do that little uh, shield thing, right? I think the shield thing is going to be a problem. One tech Jiren on rotation with the Topo for maximum damage. Maximum carnage. The power of justice. I have both LR and Int UI Goku, but no new Goku. What? What are you talking about? You have both LR and Int UI Goku, but no... Oh, 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 I see, I see, I see. I see what you're talking about. Now we've got one rotation all sorted out. 
Perfect. So we'll begin having these guys start stacking. And I'm not going to pick up the appropriate orbs. We're on stage 3. Actually, you know what? We might be able to do multiple Dokkan attacks. Maybe I shouldn't be trying so hard. Tech Khalifla won't dodge int Piccolo's attacks. Yeah, that's right. He is Universe 7, but he's not Universe Survival Saga. Yes, that is right. Thank you for the heads up. Int Piccolo and Int Tien. Both will not be um, avoidable for the Tech Khalifla. Tech Khalifla is great for this, but the, for those two, you got to be careful. Which is fair. They're early on, so they won't be a problem. Alright, so I think we'll just have it this way. We'll have KFC go. And then we'll have Jiren go. And then we'll have the two supports and one other Jiren. You should... Wait until you finish your dual Dokkan Fest summons, and then if you so choose, because you really, really want that guaranteed LR, go ahead and do the summon. But if you've played a lot and you've got a lot of the LRs and you don't necessarily think you need one, I would actually hold off and just do the free version. It's a pretty hefty price. 250 stones is no joke. That's a lot of stones you gotta pay. It's pretty good. So now we are on the Int Piccolo. Let's have Kale go first, then Khalifla. I think we should be fine. Yeah, they're still... They're good. <laughs> they're gonna be fine. They are gonna be fine. No need to worry about that. She also can't dodge Goku Frieza. Yes, but not because of the category restriction. It is simply because of the gimmick of that level. That is correct. But she doesn't have to worry about dodging there because there, it's type neutral, right? So she's not in any danger. The only real danger is probably right here. Can we get that additional? Come on, baby. There it is. Thank you. Now we got what we want. Oh, he's healing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we kill? I think we can kill. We should be able to kill here. Uh-oh. Uh, uh Damn. That's an ouchie. You know what? We actually will not be killing him. That is a bummer. Mm, mm. Additional? Additional? Oh my god. What? Come on, dude. Oh, that's it? That's not that bad. We're fine. Next round is against Tech 18. We'll probably have a Dokkan attack for that. We don't have an Int unit to do maximum damage, though, so we may not get an OTK. Alright, for justice! Dead? One more, one more, one more, one more. Whoop. Oh, what a waste. We're wasting turns like a buffoon. Turn 10. All right. Turn 10. We got to use KFC. Then we'll use... Actually, I want to save the Dokkan attack. I don't want to pick up the right... Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to waste a Dokkan attack here. That's going to be a huge waste. That is overkill. We will save the Dokkan attack for Tech 18. All right. Dokkan attack. Boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. Time to go all out. What's up, scrub -a dub dub How's ITOP2 going? It's going great. I was the number one overall draft pick. Everybody knows that I'm the best, and it's going great. How are you doing? <laughs> Come on. More additionals, please. Ooh, hello. Yo, Kale just dodged. Since when? That's my girl. Okay, you know, maybe... Maybe I need to be a bit more aggressive with the offense. Because we're kind of goofing a little right now. All right. There we go. There we go. Additionals on fleek. We could probably just... We could easily no item this, actually. We are a little over halfway through, and we're halfway through on the turns. I got to amp up the energy here. That actually could be a problem. Oh, come on. Don't... 
Oh, what a waste! Why didn't I use free to play Kasserol Squad instead of Int Topo? Because, number one, I am trying to beat this first try, all missions, and within 24 turns. Bringing a defensive stacker would be counterintuitive to that to that end. So that's why I can't bring him. Um, also, I've got I've got plenty of protection with the Universe 11 on the team. He's able to guard all attacks. So he's going to be able to cover himself quite nicely. But this should be a good turn. Double Ultra or double Juden and then an Ultra Super from KFC. This should be really nice. KFC is like the tankiest unit to ever exist on these types of events. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That's it. Yo, what the heck? Half the team stacks defense, but they also stack offense. Woo-wee! There you go. There you go. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. There it is. Gohan hits really hard, by the way. I got items. If we can do a first try no item run, we'll do it. But sometimes the cookie just doesn't crumble the way you want. And if that happens... Oh, oh no, he's attacking KFC. That's fine. <laughs> It's hard, you say. <laughs> it does nothing. Come on, give me some crits. Crit, 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 crit. All right, that was a that was a good outing. First turn. Look at all that damage we did. Let's start with Khalifa. So we'll do that. Bah! And then we'll do that. Bah! And then we'll do that. I bought EGL LR Gohan, and I got him to transform. Nice. Ugh. Maybe I should have brought STR Kefla. Maybe Kefla would have been better. Please kill him. Thank you. Alright, two turns done. Very nice. Up next, Royal Blue Vegeta. I'm still butthurt that they make this guy the third to last, not second to last. But it's okay. I'm over it. I'm over it. So let's see how much damage we take here. Oh my god! Haha, <laughs> dodge! Uh. Okay. Okay. Halfway done, just from KFC. That's really good. We should get a good chunk right here. Give me a crit, give me a crit! Yeah! Ooh! <laughs> One turn, yes. Excellent. Okay. All right. Now we got Kale up here. That's good. So we'll have Kale go. Then KFC. Oh, that was so dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I can still use an Ultra Super. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. There it is. I gave her max critical because she's got a guaranteed additional. I wanted to capitalize on the amount of damage that she can do. Tose! Jiren! Alright, how much health left? Oof, he's got a lot. What the heck? That's a lot of health left, dude. Damn. Alright, let's do this. And let's do that. I think we should be able to kill here. The turn, <laughs> the turn count went back. No, no, no. I just... I was a dummy. I didn't... Oh, no! What? What did he do? Oh, dude, he neutralized my... I forgot about that. Uh-oh. Come on, get him. Good. Again? Oh. Alright, so we have four turns to defeat Goku Frieza. I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be aight. We're also on pace for getting that Dokkan attack to come back, which would be really, really nice. And I think when we get to that point, I will use his active skill, the Juden active skill, so that um, I can do even more damage. Yup, there you go. Alright, on to the final phase. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yes! Can I get an Ultra Super? I can. Alright, let's do that. We got this. We got this. Oh! It's so weird seeing the attack happen in reverse. It's so weird. It's unsettling. 270. Whoa! That's a lot of damage. That's it? No. I think we gotta use items. Yeah, we gotta use items. I'm not taking a chance. My main concern is to get... Dude. <laughs> we do so little damage! The Dokkan attack is what we need. Dokkan attack is key. Unbelievable. Jeez, he's such a tank. We need those crits to come through now. I have not used Chudens active because I'm saving that for a Dokkan attack or the finale. Okay, so oof. All right, um, all right. So I'm gonna have Kale go first. Next turn, we're getting a Dokkan attack for sure. Then we got Khalifla. Um, do I need to use an item? I'm not gonna use. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for it. Let's be crazy. Next turn, we're gonna get a Dokkan attack with Chudin. We're gonna make this cannon. We're gonna make this reverse cannon. Okay, we're okay. Yup. Whew. This is it. This is it. Trust is for the weak. Strength is everything. Cannon. <laughs> Let's make this cannon right here. One, two, three, go! Time to get, Time to get serious. <laughs> ah, they're so fast! Name is Jiren.